Hi everyone, uh, welcome again to the monthly draw. Uh, it's does go round quick, as I say, a month goes by before I know where I am and uh, we're doing this, which is, I enjoy it anyway, so it's great fun. Uh, I know many just enjoy the, the monthly draw, and uh, but the first thing I've got to do is thank you all, uh, everyone uh, who watches the videos on YouTube, basically your likes or leaves a message and thanks, uh, I mean I can't thank you all enough. Uh, honestly, it does help, and uh, you have no idea. The monthly draw is a great way, I mean, for me to give something back. It's, it's, it's the only way I can actually do stuff, and uh, and share the flies that I tie, and uh, especially the ones I film, and obviously the, the boxes. And, uh, I mean, the boxes, basically, when, when he's asked me questions about the, the flies, uh, or flies that need tied, it, give, it gives me ideas. Uh, on what fly box to do, and I want to keep doing that. I mean, keep obviously leave a message, just an idea or anything, and it gets me started. Because a lot of the flies have actually tied this month, they're all answering questions, or like today, even uh, the golden olive uh, bumble itself. There was two questions asked, two separate people. Uh, one asked me if I could do a video on winding a, or preparing a, a jay feather. And winding it on, <coughs> excuse me, how to obviously split it uh, or take it apart. And I filmed that, and the other one was could I tie uh, a golden olive uh, bumble. So there we are, that was two answered. So uh, it does help, I mean, it's great. I mean, it gets me, it keeps the interest going, it keeps everybody happy. And uh, we'll keep doing it, we're not doing anything wrong because I think I'd uh, last. Last month, or this month, I had over 500 subscribers, so uh, it's a great, and if I keep getting that every month, uh, the channel's growing all the time, and obviously with the, the fishing videos, uh, next year will be the, the hopefully, across the fingers, no issues with cameras or anything, and uh, we can get a lot more footage and answer a lot more questions, and get more people interested, because fly fishing, fly tying, a great, it's a great hobby, uh, you've got to enjoy it. So anyway, we're here to, to do the, the monthly draw, and uh, the first thing we talk about always is the boxes, and it's going to be the first thing I'm going to draw. Now, I'm going to basically change the camera to this, this I've got the camera setting at the side here, so you can maybe see the, the boxes a wee bit better. Uh, the first box I lifted up was the salmon fly box. Uh, this is just a good selection of doubles and singles at the top. Uh, anywhere there's salmon, these would work. Uh, even steelhead, I'm not sure about the doubles, but the singles are there especially. And uh, these are a, a, a range of patterns or colour combinations that we use. Uh, mainly kind of in the style of, uh, what do you call it, uh, the flamethrower. The flamethrower style is a great style. And uh, it's, it works. So it's one of these ones that's worth tying. So that's where that box is. Now in that box there's, uh, there's 36 flies. Now I did tie two extra boxes this month to the to add to the, the draw. And uh, the one was uh, this one here. This is the dynamite harry flies. Uh, basically I get carried away over the last well first time I tied the uh, dynamite harry was 2017 and from there I've just basically used that style and developed the style into my own flies or the patterns that I fish, everything from the uh, Simple wee uh, grey duster to a yellow may, and even to a large uh, spinner, spinner pattern. Uh, great flies, uh, they just they catch and catch, so I had to do a selection there now. I haven't marked on, I forgot to mark on the minis in there, but they're, uh, they're at least, what, there's 12, 6, 72, there's over 70 flies in there. Uh, there'll be touch more, but there's 70, there's 70 plus flies in that box, so really nice box of, of dry flies. Another one I did was this one here, and again you'll see some of these flies within in the actual the ones I'm giving away. Some of the patterns, uh, this is the, the Clyde style ones um, at the top here, and then I just basically motored down down to use, uh, your traditional pathogen oranges and water hen blower and so on. Yellow May, a new fly for me was the smoke fly, lovely pattern. And obviously up to the wing flies like the magpie and silver and the hen blackie 
and the woodcock and so uh, and here's here. Uh, nice fly, a good fly box, a lovely box. And again I forgot to put a number on. No, there's over 80 in this one. So it's a nice wee box that. And then I've actually got three boxes, another, uh, which are basically around about uh, the still waters. And this is a this is a snow bee, a snow bee fly box. It's a nice box. It's in a similar style to this one. This is uh, the, the one from the Glasgow Angling Centre I got, uh, the still water box. Uh, but this is the snow bee one with the blue wax. I love the back on it. And it uh, suits the colours, you can how I like blue. So, but anyway, we've got uh, these are basically that I've marked on the back is that there's 74 in here. The class these mainly is palmers, hedgehogs, it's a good selection. Uh, muddlers, there's palmers down here, and then there's winged and palmers and small mayfly. A great, a nice wee box. Probably a, a box I would fish in most lochs and hill lochs and lakes in the UK and Ireland uh, and anywhere, anywhere there's I mean fish in the river as well I mean nothing wrong with fishing these in the river so that's another nice box this one here if we go into the uh, if you're into the lakes and the fisheries uh, these are well known patterns the dial backs, crunchers, snatchers and the cormorants so there's a nice range of different types there's basically a couple of rows of each all the way down to the midge pupa down the bottom here. So uh, another really nice box, got a lot of nice ideas and some of these flies I know, they, my friends of mine have caught and won competitions with these so uh, it's a nice a good patterns. Uh, again I think there's there's 88 in that. And another one, this is it's the 79 in here, it's a still water merger box as I called it. Again in here Lots of nice flies. We've got the shuttlecocks and different kinds or different styles, colours. We've got the half or the all rounders. We've got the half hogs. So there's four patterns of them. And then the Midas, uh, whether it's the Cadis version and so on to the hopper. Uh, and good colour combinations hairs, ear, clarets, fiery brown. All good colours. Uh, basically, can't go wrong with them. So, again, it's another nice box. And then Finally, we've got this. We're coming into the winter season where we're going for the grayling, and uh, this is this is the type of box I would have for the grayling. Um, the bottom end here, we've got the pheasant tails, the grey goose. We've even got the colour bug there, tied with the four seven seven, the hare's ear, and then we've got our tungsten beads, all different types. Uh, we've got the, the sort of shrimp, and then the olives, caddis pupa, and the pinky. Uh, basically just a pink pheasant tail, pink head, very good in the in the dark water, uh, all good patterns, well tested, and caught lots of fish over the years, both trout and grayling, though the, the grayling do like this type of fly. Uh, so there we are, that, that's the fly boxes for the for this month's draw. So there's a choice of seven in there, and uh, basically uh, we've got, we're going to do a draw for them, so a wee issue, I'm going to point my finger at this blue screen here. Um, this is the, ge the generator I've got. Um, spent most of the day trying to get it to work. Uh, for some reason, since I got the new, uh, it's basically an update on the, the Mac. It's a new operating system of some sort. The apps are not working. Some of the, lots of my apps are, that I use, there's an issue with some point. In this one, it's, it works fine, except you can't hear a voice. So you can have to listen to mine even more. So I'll draw the, I'll generate the number and I'll basically tell you obviously, but you'll see it anyway. So I can only press the button, this is all I can do, and then see how the numbers come out. So we'll draw, for the first draw, the number is for the, the fly box. So good luck everyone. I hope you enjoy the, the draw this month. So we'll get started. So the number for the fly box is number 254. See, no sound. I don't know why, <laughs> it's just, there's no, there's a button needing pressed or there's an update needing somewhere, but anyway, there we are. So for the, the fly box is 254, so well done, 254, and uh, we'll get, we'll get in touch. Now, I've got the flies as well, but what I'm going to do is draw the, 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 what do you call it, this is a rod. So basically this is the, the rod I've been using all season, so I think I'll go to the other camera. A bit better, I think. 
Uh, this is the nine foot four weight that I've been using most of the season for the for wets, nymphs and dries uh, and on my local waters. And to be honest with you, a really heavy cast that I enjoy fishing this rod. It's a really good rod. Uh, it's not everyone's sort of ideal rod, a nine for a four weight. Uh, in last month's row I said that I would you can either have this rod, mine, uh, which I've used, or you can have one another one of these. But what I've decided to do is, uh, and Cadence is basically quite willing to send uh, a rod to whoever's name is, whoever's number is drawn, sorry, uh, out. So uh, basically, uh, there's a, I don't know how many rods there is. They start from an 8 foot 6 all the way up to an 11 foot for a, a 6 weight, but the 8 foot 6 is a 3 weight. So there's nine foot, and I think there's nine and a half. So there's a ten foot. I think maybe even one. There's a nine foot nine. So it's basically you can choose one of the rods from that range of the single-handed rods uh, from Stevie Munn. Steve did a great job. Lovely rods, uh, and the price, honestly, the the that's the, the price of selling them and selling these rods. Uh, they should be double that. I'm not saying just because I've got one of these rods. They really are good, and uh, I would certainly recommend them. So we're going to draw a number for, so you can have a choice of a rod. Uh, and basically, you can just, as I say, I'll let you decide what one you like. Because uh, we all get our own type of fishing, so. Anyway, we you draw the number. So the number for the rod is 326. So number 326. Uh, I'll basically I'll be in touch with everyone at the end uh, once the, the draw is by and send out emails. So number 326, well done. Uh, you've got a choice of a rod and they say I'll, I'll be in touch uh, after the draw. Now we're going to go to the... Basically I've got... It's like a pile of cards but it's basically flies. These are all the flies that I've tied over the months. Uh, over this month, sorry. And I've got some extra in there. Now what I'm going to do there's a couple of streamers in there and there's a, a wee a spay fly. So I'm going to kind of mix them up and not look. So that, uh, well, not look to the point anyway. I'll stay with the backs to, to me so I don't know exactly what I'm giving away. So the first fly I'm going to be giving away is a few story behind these. This is a fly that I, I basically tied for a gentleman who was asking about. He sent me a photograph. Uh, long hackle dry. Love tying these flies when I was younger. Uh, basically, it's all I could tie because all I did was have packets of hackles, and uh, but they worked a treat. I should be tying a lot more, and it brought back memories when he asked me about how I could, what would, how would I do it to tie it, and what, what, how would I tie it? So it was ideal for me to sit down and film it, and it went down really well, and he really enjoyed the video, so. Uh, so obviously I've tied one which was filmed and then I've got other ones here for you to have a cast with. So we'll draw, we'll draw numbers for that. So the number for the dry flies is 388. So number 388, well done. The next flies are oh, the soft tackle caddis. So basically this is in one of the boxes. Again it was a filmed one. I tied some extra. And obviously I've got some in the box as well. There's actually four patterns in that box. So, not great pattern. It's just a traditional style fly. Slightly heavy dress because of the caddis. Cut some horns on it, so... And a colour combination that suits caddis flies. So you can't go wrong. So we'll do a number for them. And the number is... 185. So 185 for those. Now, next one up is the... These are the hot spot. Uh, midge pupa, size 10s, I know they're quite big, you do get big pupa here, uh, but that's a good fly, it's a fly that has an aiming point at the top of a hot spot, uh, both for the for the person that's fishing it, because they can see it, it's one of the flies when you're pulling up you can actually see the red in the top, and it's a good sighter as much as to the fish, and it works a treat, a good buzzer, especially the competition boys would like that one. So we'll draw a number for that, and the number is 376. Okay, next one, oh, we've got, now what this is, the cold rain is a spay fly. Now this is tied on a hook once owned by Megan Boyd. Now Megan was a, she's 
She's a famous lady, the, the, way, way back. Uh, she actually got a British Empire medal for tying flies. Uh, it's just a tie for Prince Charles, and I was lucky enough to get hold of a lot of her bits and pieces after she died, uh, and I collected them over a few years. And I had a, quite a lot of hooks, so I decided to tie some spay flies on them and give them away. So this is another one. So good for fishing, as well as if you want, you can stick it in a wee, a wee frame or something. So anyway, we'll do a number for that one. And the number is 208. So the number 208 for that. Okay, next one. Now this is the, basically it's the all-rounder delta wing. It's, again, it's just a, when you're tying so many different styles and flies, you combine them together a wee bit. And, and this is what this fly is. It's a com combination of two or three patterns that I've tied. Gives impression of any egg laying card this as much as mayfly hatching. Uh, as, as to say, it's just a good all-round type fly. And if you can tie this in different sizes, this one's this, like a spring olive version. Uh, obviously good in the early, se early part of the season. It does really well for me, so... Uh, we'll draw a number for them, and the number is 131, one. 131 one for them, so going to the next set, and what we've got here, oh aye, this is a, there is a selection of flies called the Dynamite Harry, I've been tying, and I got a question asking, can you tie like a natural version, can you do it without using, say, the, for the wing and the body, you can use a, like a polypro or a parapost, in, the, uh, in this case I've used CDC, so you can do it and they do work really, really well. So uh, I've done a nice selection here. Again, it's much like a, a spring olive type fly, ideal, nice pattern. Uh, and that is again, as I say, I filmed, as if, I filmed one of these and the rest of these are for having a cast with. So we'll do a number for them. Number 44, so number 44. Dynamite Harry CDCs. Now this one, this is just this one. I recently tied this one again. This is the leggy caddis or the easy as I called it. Basically easy to tie. Uh, it was it's really quick and and you get such a good pattern. It's one of the type of flies I like fishing. Uh, kind of on the dropper or so. I mean you could fish it itself, but no, it's a in a part of a cast and I like it on the dropper whether it be the middle or the top. And when I'm fishing normally in the river, I only fish a couple of flies, and this would be my top fly. Now, I've actually filmed this, I've been fishing this fly on the River Dune, uh, and I did catch quite a few on it, so nice pattern. So we'll do a drop of that. And the number is 77. So we'll done 77. Now, oh, and another streamer. Um, this is the Carrie Stevens fly. Uh, it's sitting up a wee bit there, but I'll uh, it back down. A nice fly, a nice pattern. Carrie Special, I think it's called. The rest is on. Oh, it's special, right? Here yeah, it was. So basically tied on a Carrie Stevens hook. Basically this hook was uh, originally, it was made by Patridge. Uh, lovely wee, lovely hook. A lovely wee hook, it's a huge hook. <laughs> it's a big hook. But it's a nice pattern. Again, you could fish it if you want it, but you can put it in a frame. It's a nice one to frame up, so uh, we'll draw a number for this one. And the number is 372. Now, uh, today I've got this on this morning. This is the Golden Olive Bumble. Now, the story behind that is quite simple. It's answering questions, as I said in the video. It's basically, I got asked to tie the Golden Olive Bumble. And this is a version that I like. Uh, the other thing I got asked about was the the, the the to basically split. You've got to split the J, uh, which if you look at the video, you'll see it, you've got to split it. And I soak it first for a good few minutes in warm water, and then it's easier to split if you do that. You can do it without it, but it's actually easier if it's uh, softened by the water. That's a lovely fly, nice pattern. So obviously very good in Ireland. So we'll draw a number for them. The number is 51, number 51 for those, uh, what have we got here, okay this is because of the same theme, this is this is obviously the questions of how flies uh, develop, or how I get tying the videos, when I was doing the dynamite Harry dry flies they were mainly for the river, 
And I got a question, do you do ones for the locks? Now I do, and I have plenty for the locks. Uh, so I had the Bibio version. Now on here there's two right here. And then I held up a couple, at least one of them anyway, or one or two. And how it developed from that into these kind of flies. And that, I've got these in there as well. So you can give them a go and try them different, so see how they sit for you. They're lovely patterns, they work extremely well. So uh, a nice set of wee flies there. So we'll draw a number for them, and the number is 54, so number 54. Now, I knew there was two streamers, that's why I said streamers. This is probably the most famous streamer of them all, uh, from Carrie Stevens, this is the Grey Ghost. Again, it's tied, it's tied on the Carrie Stevens hook from Partridge, so you can't get them anymore. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a hold of some, so I'm using it up, and obviously uh, give them away in the draw. And this is a lovely dress, and, and it's not just a lovely dress, and it's a great fishing fly, quite a lot of fish. So that's why it was so famous. So we'll do a draw for that. Uh, the number for them is 121. So well done, number 121. And next one up is, well, we've got a couple left, but this is the, the next one, and basically what these are flies. The flies I've tied and filmed in the past. There's two or three, there's a couple of each anyway. And I was sitting on my desk, so I'd just put them on a card. So it's just an extra draw. Uh, nice flies. All caddis patterns, the kind of leggy caddis, nice patterns. So we'll do a number for them. And the number is 164. So 164. And finally, we've got uh, these are the woodcock and hares here. This is a rolled wing version, which basically what I started doing in, the, in this box was where I was starting off with the Clyde style flies. Uh, so I did a woodcock and hair's ear. Uh, it's a pattern that's really, really good. And again, I've got the one I filmed as well as some extra for you to have a cast. So finally a number, we'll do a number for them. 113, so lucky 13 in there, but 113 is for those. So. Uh, well done everyone, Whew. Uh, seemed to go on and on and on, sorry about that, uh, I'd love to put in some more but we'll, we'll, we'll obviously do a lot more and we'll do some more next month and uh, we'll see how things develop but I still need your ideas, remember just to leave comments, uh, any help, any advice or any ideas, just please leave the comments below the video, uh, I do look at everything, I try and look at everything, I try and answer everything uh, I try my best and uh, and we'll keep doing the tips, the tips as well and the things. I wonder if I uh, just recently I got asked a question about how to select the peacock eyes for the quills. Uh, I'll, I'll do a video on that. Uh, it's, it's reasonably easy to do. Uh, the problem is finding the eyes nowadays but uh, you can buy them from different places but we'll talk about that when, when I do the video. Uh, other things, um, basically just Put in any idea that you feel that would help your tying. Uh, if you think I may have the materials for a pattern, obviously tie to tie it. I'll, I'll, I'll certainly give it a go. I do have one or two flies marked in to tie, and I'm trying to spread them out through the the, the months. And we've got the, the the winter months coming up. Where we're going to be filling our boxes, and hopefully get a chance to get down the river and fish for the grail. And uh, the rivers are still a bit high. This is their, their season finished today, the salmon season where we are anyway, finished today. The trout season's by, so they've got big grayling over the winter. So we'll see how it develops and hopefully I'll get down two or three times and do a bit of filming. So anyway everyone, can't thank you enough again. Uh, I really do appreciate all your help and uh, as I say, get involved. Put in your comments, put in your ideas and uh, even for a box, remember that I'm always looking for ideas and a box is a great excuse to, to film one or two flies. So, anyway, thanks again for watching, and uh, until next month's uh, monthly draw, I look forward to it, and until next time.